Before this lockdown started, the most asked question in this country was, what time is it? But now nobody wants to know what time it is anymore. Instead, the most asked question is often, what day is it? As we look in our Bibles, we can see that the Bible has a lot to say about time. In Ecclesiastes 3, it says, there is an occasion for everything, a time for every activity under heaven. A time to give birth, a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot. There's a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down, a time to build. There's a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to avoid embracing. A time to search, a time to count as lost. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to be silent and a time to speak. There's a time to love, a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. The Bible says there's a time, there's a season for everything. And this morning I want us to look at that question, what time is it for us? Because knowing the time and doing things at the right time are so, so important for us. You know, just imagine we had a ticket to a garden party at Buckingham Palace and it was this afternoon. You know, you're one of the, the chosen ones with an invite. But if you turn up next Wednesday, your invitation will mean absolutely nothing. The guards on the gate won't let you in. If you miss the right time, there is no chance you are gonna get entry to meet the queen. You might have a ticket, but if you're not there on the right day at the right time, they won't wait for you. You will miss out. Imagine back in the day when we had football and you had a ticket for a football match. You turn up at the ground, you start singing and chanting. You're having a great time shouting, telling people to shoot and to pass, calling the referee blind. But it's nine o'clock in the morning. You're the only person in the ground. You're doing all the right things. You're just six hours too early for a three o'clock kickoff. You know, we can be involved in good things, maybe right things, but if we do them at the wrong time, we can end up looking like a bit of an idiot. Imagine a farmer, they prepare, prepare the ground, they sow seeds, they water the seed, and then they wait for the seed to grow, then they reap a harvest. But if the farmer starts to harvest one week after sowing, he's gonna be very disappointed. The farmer has to wait for the right conditions, the right time to plant. He has to wait for the right time to harvest. For us today, we need to know the time. We need to know the season we're in for us to respond in the right way. Ecclesiastes 3.5 is an interesting verse. It says there's a time to throw stones. There's a time to gather stones. In the book of 1 Samuel, we find the story of David and Goliath. David had volunteered to fight the giant. He rejected the armor and weapons that the king had offered him. But in 1 Samuel 17.40, it tells us that David, what he did next. It says he took his staff and he chose five smooth stones from the stream. He put them in a pouch in his shepherd's bag and with his sling in his hand he approached the Philistine. David went to the river and he gathered five smooth stones. He used that time to equip and prepare himself for what he was about to face in the battle ahead. This morning I wonder if this is a time that we find ourselves in is a day of preparation. Are we in a time when we are equipping ourselves for the challenges and the battle that lays ahead? Are we using our time wisely seeking God? Are we using our time to pray? Are we talking to God, studying his word, equipping ourselves with the tools that we're gonna need? Are we looking for ways to serve? Are we receiving training and instruction for what comes next on our journey with God? Now David gathered stones that he needed for the battle ahead. He gathered the stones ready for the day when he would need to throw them. If we want to be people that defeat giants, 
in our lives, if we want to be effective in our Christian life, if we want to hit the targets in front of us, we need to prepare now. The time of throwing stones is a time of action. It's a time of doing. It's a time to use what we have to fight and defeat the enemy. Let's pray. Lord, we ask you today to help us to prepare for what we're about to face. Give us wisdom, give us insight, give us strength so that we can be effective in everything that you have called us to do. God bless you today. Amen.